we shall discuss on some fundamentals of mathematics. First basic point is square root. Okay. What is the meaning of this sign? This is a symbol for positive square root. Okay. So if I write square root of 1, you can't write as plus minus 1. This is a wrong concept. Okay. This is not correct actually. Root over 1 is not is equal to plus minus 1. Then what is root over 1? Root over 1 is only 1. Okay. Root gives you a positive quantity. Root does not give you any negative quantity. Because this symbol is for positive square root. So you will get only a positive quantity. But if I write x square is equal to 1, then I can write x is equal to plus minus 1. This plus minus 1, you may think that uh, the square root of 1 is equal to plus minus 1. We have written here. But this is not for this fact. Because, you know, x square is equal to 1. From this 1, I can write x square minus 1 is equal to 0. Or x plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. First of all, see that x square minus 1 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. So from this, you can get two roots. Maybe all are real roots or some real, some imaginary. But from these, we shall get two real roots. Uh, you just factorize this x plus 1 into x minus 1 on the left side equal to 0. So either x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So that you will get the solutions respectively minus 1 or plus 1. So this minus 1 and plus 1 comes for the quadratic equation because the degree of this polynomial x square minus 1 is 2. For this you are getting two zeros or two roots. Okay. But in any way, it does not indicate that root 1 gives you minus 1 or plus 1. Root 1 gives you only 1. This minus or plus gives for the concept of quadratic equation. Okay. Now, the next concept is, friends, root over of fx exists only when fx is greater than or equal to 0. This is important, very important. Root over fx exists only when fx is greater than or equal to 0. Suppose I take fx as x square minus 16. If I take the root of this one, then it will exist only when x square minus 16 is greater than or equal to 0. Or factorize on the left side, this is x plus 4 into x minus 4. This is greater than or equal to 0. So, from the wavy curve method, this is minus infinity to plus infinity. For wavy curve, for the concept of wavy curve method, you have to see my videos on this topic. The links are given in the description. Okay, first of all, you see that the critical points are minus 4 and plus 4. So the first critical point is written here, minus 4. Second one is plus 4. Okay, on the extreme right, this is plus and is put here. So this is positive. And uh, the degree of x minus 4 is 1 for this. This is negative. You have to see the video on this topic. And the uh, links are given in the description. In the critical point minus 4, this is positive. So the solution for x square minus 16 is greater than or equal to 0 is x belongs to minus infinity to minus 4 closed union 4 to infinity. Okay. Next concept is, friends, you know, if I square something, what will happen? Okay x square or x to the power 4 or x to the power 6 or x to the power 8 or x to the power twice and like this number, all are positive, okay, all are positive, okay. That means x square is greater than or equal to 0. This is the concept. 
x square is greater than or equal to 0. Square of any real number is non-negative. This is non-negative. That means you put any value for x. It may be negative real number or positive number or 0. So if you square this one, it will be more than 0 or equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, then it obviously x square is equal to 0. But if you put x is negative or positive number, this will be greater than 0. This is the second concept. Next concept I want to put here. Friend, say 2 to the power x, 3 to the power x, 4 to the power x, like these numbers. These are known as exponential functions. Exponential functions. Okay. These are exponential functions. An exponential function is always positive. That means I write a, a to the power x is greater than 0. The base is a, power is x. a to the power x is greater than 0. And these exponential function, this type of exponential functions, in general this is a to the power x. a to the power x is always positive. Always positive. See, I want to draw a graph of it. Okay, x axis, y axis, this is 0, 1 and uh, this is a to the power x for a is greater than 1 and this is also a to the power x. This is also a to the power x for 0 less than a less than 1. How do I draw this one? You have to again see my video on this topic okay the links are given in the description now friends i want to ask some questions first question if it is given that 2 to the power x is equal to minus 1 how many solutions of this equation have friends you see that earlier i discussed a to the power x is greater than 0 that means exponential functions are positive. Here in this graph you are looking that each graph is above the x-axis. So, x to the power x is always positive. So, 2 to the power x is a positive quantity. This is positive quantity. This is positive quantity. Okay. And the right side is minus 1 and minus 1 is negative. So, can you say a positive quantity is equal to negative quantity? No. Not at all. So, a positive quantity cannot be equal to a negative quantity. So, for this 2 to the power x cannot be equal to minus 1. So, you will not have any solution. So, there is no solution. There is no solution. Okay. 2 to the power x is equal to minus 1 has no solution. Next question to you. The second question is if I write 2 to the power x is equal to 0, how many solutions are there? 2 to the power x is equal to 0, left side is positive, right side is 0. So, a positive quantity cannot be equal to 0. So, for this there is also again no solution. There is no solution. On the first one there is no solution, on the second one is also no solution. Third question is, if I write 2 to the power x is equal to 1. So, friends, from this, I get 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power 0. So, base are same 2, 2 and power is x and 0. So, from this, you can write x is equal to 0. So, we get one solution. There is only one solution. So, out of these three examples, from the first two, you are not getting any solution. And the last one, that is in the third one, you are getting one solution. That means 2 to the power x is equal to 1 has one solution and the solution is x is equal to 0. Next concept I want to share with you. <clears throat> Friends, modulus of x. What is modulus x? This modulus x is always positive for any real x. That means mod x denotes magnitude of x which is non-negative. So, I can write mod x is greater than or equal to 0. Mod x is greater than or equal to 0. This is always non-negative. This is always non-negative. Okay, friend. Next important 
concept is if the sum of two or more non-negative quantities is equal to zero then each term should be zero simultaneously as for example i want to share with you root u plus modulus v plus w square is equal to zero then you see that root gives you a non-negative number modulus gives you non-negative number w square also gives you a positive quantity if the sum of this all the all of these uh, non-negative quantities gives you equal to zero then simultaneously all of them will be equal to zero at a time okay that means u is equal to zero and v is equal to zero and w is equal to zero now one important thing is the connective that is uh, the conjunction whatever i write in here this is and and okay so when all the positive quantities it's their their sum is equal to zero then simultaneously all of them will be equal to zero and the conjunction will be used and now with respect to these i want to share um, two examples say the first example is if it is given that root over x minus 1 plus modulus of x plus 1 is equal to 0 then what will be x okay so first of all you see that the uh, root sign is uh, used here so root gives you a positive quantity okay isn't it root gives you a positive quantity modulus is also non-negative this is non-negative so the sum of two non-negative numbers is equal to zero this is also non-negative the sum of two non-negative numbers is equal to zero simultaneously at a time uh, both of them will be equal to zero that means x minus one is equal to zero and x plus one is equal to zero so from this you are getting x is equal to one and x is equal to minus one what is the connective used here and this is and okay so x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 but friends at a time x cannot have two solutions at a time x cannot be 1 and minus 1 so there is actually no solution there is no solution okay since the connective is used and that means at a time x is equal to 1 and minus 1 is it possible anyway no for this this given equation has no solution okay now i want to share another example say <clears throat> if it is given that x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 so how many solutions will be there see that after factorization you will get x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 what is the conjunction is used here this is or that means either this will happen or that will happen so for this x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3 so there are two solutions one is 2 another one is 3 so there are two solutions how many solutions are there there are two solutions on the previous one there were no solution you may see that x is equal to 1 x is equal to minus 1 there are two solutions no what is the connective what is the conjunction is used there is a and is used for this at a time you can't get two solutions uh, separate solutions so there is no solution actually and since there is or is used this conjunction is or for these you are getting um, uh, two solutions. You want to share something. If I say, friends, 5 is greater than 3, is it correct? Is it true? Obviously, this is true. This is true. Why? On the number line, you see that this is 3, say, 4, 5, 6. So, this is positive infinity okay 5 is right side of 3 so 5 is obviously greater than 3 
for this 5 is greater than 3 is true. True statement. If I say 5 is greater than or equal to 3, is it correct? Yes, this is also true. Why? You see that what is the inequality sign is used here. This is greater than or equal. Greater than or equal. The conjunction is or. Either one of the event will happen. 5 is greater than 3 or 5 is equal to 3. 5 is greater than 3. This is right. 5 is equal to 3. This is not correct. But since the uh, conjunction is or for this either one of the event will happen. So 5 is greater than 3 is true. Finally, I want to share another thing. If I write 5 is greater than or equal to 5, is it correct? This is also correct. This is also true. Uh, 5 is equal to 5. The second condition fulfills 5 is equal to 5. For this, this statement is also correct. Okay. Thank you.